Diane Lovren uh, also uh, with plenty to say in the aftermath oh, of the win. You'll enjoy this, Stevie. He said, yes. uh, I took Liverpool to the final of the Champions League. Now oh. with my national team, we are in the final. I think people should recognise that I am also one of the best defenders in the world and not just talk Nonsense. Here, here comes the nonsense. He took Liverpool to the <laughs> final of the Champions <laughs> League. He's aiming, he's aiming this at you. He took hey, what, hey, what? Was he driving the bus from the hotel to the oh, game or something? Oh, oh, yeah. Listen, yeah. Not, not, let's not kid ourselves. This, this, guy de this guy deserves a pat on the back for having confidence in, in himself. To come out and say that tells you that he thinks he's mustard. Mm. And that good on him. I'll tell you what, he's got as big a heart as anybody else. Mm. As big a heart. Unfortunately, He's a train wreck at times. <laughs> the guy makes mistakes from absolutely nowhere. One minute you think everyone's in control, all of a sudden the ball's in the back of the net and he's right bang smack in the middle of it. So I admire his World courage. I admire his ability to, to, to fancy himself, but he ain't one of the best defenders in the world. That's a certainty. Are, are you with Stevie on that assessment case? There, there's Lover def gone up there, in there's assessment? definitely been some cases throughout uh, this last season at Liverpool <laughs> <A few>. where... <laughs> A game against Spurs. You, you, you just sat there and you went, "Whoa, what are you doing?" And and yeah, and we're all entitled to the odd one here or there, but he definitely threw in a few more if he wants to call himself the best defender in the mm, world. Yeah. I think he's a he's a decent defender. He's not the world's best defender as he's talking about, but he's he's a better defender than I think Stevie thinks is. It's easy to criticise once you see one mistake, and we're talking about the goalkeeper Carriers. As soon as he makes another, he's a terrible goalkeeper. He's, I'm sure he's a, a decent goalkeeper, but he's made too many mistakes for Liverpool. But he's still a uh, good defender. He gets away with more though. He's mm. not a good defender. Right. I tell you what, when the ball's thrown into the penalty box, he's as good a defender as there is because there's there's very few that go and win headers the way he does. Mm. But when the ball's on the ground and he's marking somebody and the ball's played to them, he didn't give Harry Kane much, much of a look in, did he? Every now and again, as he said. Mm -hmm. But we, what about Stanley? The guy, the guy in the semi final could have had three yellows. I mean, some of the, the challenges were just he, stupidity. He, he played on the borders, on the he fringes. Plays on the he knew, what he, could, he knew <laughs> what he could get away with. I think Killian and Bakke. Defenders don't play on the borders, they control the situation. He doesn't control what happens when he's involved, when the ball's on the floor. You so, think, so you would have him? That's what you're saying. If you're picking a team, you'll have Day and Lovren. Uh, in this Croatian side. See, that's a thing. Means who's available. I'm just, I'm, I'm suggesting that if, if you think that he's one of the best in the world, then uh, no, I didn't say he was one of the best. Okay. In the world. I said he's a very good defender, but he's not one of the best in the world. Would I pick him in place of the three centre halves? We find Alvarez. The three <laughs> centre halves England had. I'm not sure about Harry uh, uh, as John Stones as a centre back. Oh. I'd have Lovren instead of John Stones. John Stones likes to play out with the ball, but I don't think he knows always how to do it. I don't think he defends very well. He was at fault for the second goal. I'd have Lovren in there. So now we know that you hate John Stones. Yeah, yeah <laughs> of course.